Greetings and salutations, boys and girls. The man speaking, and today my part in this I got memory, something different. I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. This is Penumbra, and I was shot for during my this life before I was even in. In. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. But he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and said so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever take. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day, and I considered it in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. Okay, so basically I'm on Greenland, or on my way at least, and um, my name is Philip, I think, and this game is called Penumbra, and it's the first in a trilogy um, developed by Frictional Games, who also made the famous, more famous game, uh, Amnesia The Dark Descent, who is a great game. I was planning on doing a uh, live let's play on that first, but um, Jack Daniels, um, but I ended up doing this instead and uh, using the other the amnesia game for um, for just practicing on survival horrors if I would manage to uh, do this dearest Eric just a quick note before you set sail and leave Leave me once again. I left you a little something to remember me by. The shits in the shits at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board. Taking shifts because of it is no way to get your rest. But what does a fisherman's wife know of the life at sea? Okay. I'll skip this note. There's nothing really. Um, I have played this before, but just a little bit uh, I recorded a 10 minute video then I noticed that the sound didn't record yeah as usual um, how did I do this that's how you do it um, the things is uh, how you play is just like amnesia you drag um, to open and close doors you double click in the inventory F is for flashlight, G is for glow stick, and uh, right click is for throwing stuff, left click is for picking stuff up, and if you use R, you can use a uh, more sophisticated um, way of uh, dealing with items. Uh, like you could turn objects in amnesia, but in this, you can use them for. Uh, beating on stuff, uh, like we are going to do soon. Let's go outside. As I stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard, 
that had formed around me. I realized how utterly devoted I had been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but I lost feeling in my extremities soon after. A new hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. Okay, so basically I'm outside in the snow. I need to find a shelter and I know exactly what to do here. But I only did this part, I didn't continue after it. And I need a stone. This part lagged a lot last time. So I lowered the graphics a bit for this time. Um, let's see. If I can. Yeah, that worked a lot better than last time. As I tried to beat it with holding down R. Let's open this and go down. There we go. I haven't played anymore now. So I don't know what happens. Uh, I, this video is 6 minutes mark now. And we'll see what happens. Okay, no flashlight or glow stick, so it isn't dark. What's that? Do you hear that whisper? Okay. Jesus, my head. I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? Okay. I have a looking for the mirror. Could be anything inside it. Okay. Oh, it's not that heavy. Okay. Empty boxes of ammunition. What is this place? Basically, this place is... Oh. A alien. There are aliens in here. And monster dogs. That's as much as I know. Okay. Oh right, this is dark vision. Or something. Stealth vision. Um, when you sit still and you have to crouch um, you will get enhanced vision in the dark and you will be hard to spot. Um, let's see here. Another flare. A hammer. Let's see, I can swing this hammer if I hold left left mouse. I can make a backswing by pulling the mouse right and then follow through by pushing left. The opposite works too. Pulling back and then thrusting forward produces a stabbing motion. I reckon if I hold down right mouse after the backswing, I should be able to look around. I should still be able to look around. Okay, let's try it. All right, in there. Ah, okay. So if I hold down right like this, I will be able to. Okay. Okay, good. If I drag it backwards, can I? Yeah, I can still look. Um, now let's see what's in here. Um. I have to... Oh, shit. It's stuck. There must be something in the way. Okay. Notes. To-do list. I'm in some kind of underground installation, but the only door out of the room is locked. Okay, let's find another way. Um. Oh. Well, that was easy. How do I get these? They won't pull off with my bare hand. Okay, I can use my hammer. Hammer skills. Okay, let's put this away and go down here. Let's. Whoa! Shit. I got scared there. Um, let's go in here. Whoa! Shit! Uh, I wanna go back. I can't go back. Shit. That is seriously solid. It won't open by my hands. Um, what is this? Industrial mechanism. A hole in the center. 
Oh right, I got the steel rod. Let's see. Okay, it turns that way. Okay, it's open. But I won't be going down. I don't know where this leads or what's waiting for me, but unless I want to start to death, it's my only option. Besides, maybe this place has something to do with my father. Okay, I won't be doing any more right now. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will end this episode here. And I, there will be more to come. <laughs> I had a few uh, scary moments there, just, but just sounds really. Uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you will enjoy this as much as I don't. Kidding. Uh, see ya. <laughs>